everybody. Thanks for clicking on me. My name's Rico and this is my dog, Lucy. We're here to show you how I installed my six inch external exhaust fan for the Glowforge. I recently bought a Glowforge and it should be shipped to my house in about another two to three weeks. So in preparation of that, I went ahead and purchased all the equipment to install an external exhaust fan for the Glowforge. I hear that the Glowforge internal fan is very loud and that this fan here is a lot quieter and it'll make your life so much more pleasant in the office. So with that said, let me tell you what I bought. I bought the AC Infinity S6 six inch inline duct fan. I bought a pair of 3D printed six inch to four inch adapters. I also bought some 3D printed exhaust port extender for the back of the Glowforge. I bought some four inch clamps. I bought some black four inch ducking. I also bought at Home Depot a plastic louvered vent for the outside and a flange hose adapter for the inside. I'm gonna have all those links provided below and I'm also gonna include my Glow Forge referral. That's important because if you use my referral, you get up to $500 off your purchase and I get to buy Lucy better dog food. And I know she's gonna appreciate that. So if y'all love Lucy, use my code and let's feed this little dog. So if y'all, you guys are ready, let's go to my office, okay? Let's go. You ready? Come on. This is my office. I'm gonna put the Glowforge on the table to the left. As you can see, I'm gonna go around the back of the monitor and I'm gonna exhaust the fumes out of this window right behind my computer station. Next thing you wanna do is open your window, inspect for debris, and as you can see, my window seal had a lot of debris, so I took a little time, got a little brush, I swept up all the debris, and uh, I got a vacuum cleaner, and I sucked it all up. The next thing you do is measure the inside channel to inside channel. As you can see here, I have about 35 and a quarter inches, give or take a little bit. So I got a piece of one by eight common board from Home Depot. I transferred the measurement to the wood and I proceeded to cut it to that length. As you can tell, there's no way you're gonna be able to wedge that uh, piece of wood into the windowsill because you know it's gonna be too big. So you go ahead and get it cut. Take your cut piece back to the window and insert it on one side, push it all the way. And then once you get to the other side, you can cut it to the exact size where you know you're gonna be able to insert that piece of wood into the window. I made my second cut. Now, once I got it back to the window, I push it in to the channel on one side and then on the other side, it goes in easily and you just gently nudge it over and split the difference between the two channels. And as you can tell, the piece of wood now fits in between the window perfectly. I close the window for test and I think it looks nice enough. Once the board was in place, I quickly realized that there was a gap between the back of the board and the window screen. I then got my measuring tape and I measured from the back of the board to the window screen. That measurement came out to be one and a half inches. I then went back to the garage and I marked exactly where I wanted my four inch exhaust port hole to go on the board. I got my compass and I measured and marked a four inch hole. I then flipped the board over and I cut two pieces of the same one by eight material and I centered it over the hole. I screwed both pieces in place and the measurement of those two pieces together was the inch and a half needed to fill in the gap. As you can tell, the screen fits flush now. I then went back to the garage. I got my four inch hole saw and I started to drill the hole into the three pieces of one by eight common board. It took a little while to do it because I had the drill in hammer mode rather than drill mode, but once I figured that out it, went out, it went pretty quickly. As you can tell, the hole came out pretty nice. I then got some small uh, wood screws 
and I screwed two wood screws on each end of the board at the windowsill. So now the board fits very securely and will not move at all. I then installed a four inch hose adapter that I found at Home Depot. I used four wood screws and secured it to the common board. Just make sure that when you install this piece that it is installed in the right direction. The flap must always close in the down position when the exhaust fan is not on. I then took the board back to the garage and wrapped it with three quarter inch foam door insulation. I wrapped it all the way around. I then took it back to the window, put it in place, closed the window snugly, and it made for a good seal all the way around. I then went outside to cut a hole in the window screen to match the hole coming from the back of the common board. An X-Acto blade makes this job really easy. I then secured a 4 inch louver dryer vent adapter to the back of the common board. I realized that I did not put any wire mesh behind it so I found a piece, took it off, put the wire mesh behind it, secured it back to the common board and I think it looks really nice. After measuring, I am now mounting the exhaust fan onto the wall. I'm mounting it onto the wall and not on the table because I don't want anything that is vibrating on the same surface that my Glowforge is on. I now get my 3D printed reducer adapters and I push them snugly into place. Next, I get my four inch hosing and I screw it to the exhaust port on the window and then onto the exhaust port on my external fan. Well, that wraps up part one of this video. I can't do anything else until the Glowforge gets here. Once the Glowforge gets here, I'll do the rest of the plumbing, which is just installing a small amount of hose to the exhaust port and to the fan. Once that's installed, I get to do some sound tests to see if the money I spent on all the equipment was worth it. So. Until then, this is my channel. I do random crafts. I'm a do-it-yourselfer. I have random crafts online and I build cornhole boards, LED cornhole boards. And click on my channel, see what I got. Like, subscribe. I probably have about 13 to 14 subscribers. Maybe after this I'll get 22. I don't care. It's fun to do. It's a hobby. Lucy and I want to see you back. So thanks a lot. We'll see you for part two when the Glowforge gets here. Have a good one. Peace out.